All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Moto Beamer channel and the video. This video is for those of you who, of course, if you have a BMW and you're using this system already, I'm preaching to the choir, but this video is for those of you who were like me months ago, like, hey, I either am in the market for this bike or I just bought this bike. It's got this TFT, it's got this NAV6. What's going on? So this video, I'm gonna run you through just some very quick, it's almost like a quick start guide. We're not gonna get too in-depth, too detailed, but just to give you some ideas of what BMW has done with their TFT and also the, the NAV6. Now, just so you know, I'm gonna zoom in to the TFT exclusively, but right now I wanna show you something because I do have the NAV6 briefly. If you'll see right down here, you probably can't, but it says TFT and then it has an up arrow for the NAV. So if I hold the menu button up, boom, see how it switches to NAV? Now I can control the navigator through, there you go, the controls on the handlebar, sort of a hands-free, I don't have to tap, although I've tried this with the glove on, it does seem to work, but I can use it, I can toggle here. Now if I hold the menu button down, it goes back to TFT and I can control the TFT. So briefly, I want to go over the NAV6 slash TFT interface. I'm not going to do too much with the NAV6. Let's focus on the TFT. All right, so here you have the TFT display and everything's controlled by the toggles and the menu buttons on the handlebars. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to run down sort of what I use it for and then sort of like I said, a quick start guide. So as you can see, and I'm going to use my knife as a pointer here, obviously we have the you know, RPMs displayed, miles per hour displayed, we temperature displayed, time displayed. This will go away once we start the bike and of course our gear indicator. And then we, of course we have up top here, if I press sort of the menu button up, I can display, I can choose to display what I want up here. So right now I got the 609 miles on the clock. I press up, I can go to trip, trip two. Okay, there's some of these things that aren't gonna be displayed while the bike is off. Um, for example, Let's see, we got our time between breaks. I need to reset that. I'll show you where that's done. Um, so for example, the PSI and such like that. So bike's not on, it's not moving, it's not gonna display that. Okay, 207 miles until I need gas. Here's my gas indicator and we're back to that. So the other thing, and we'll go over it real quick. Now I have the road mode up here. I can switch the modes here on the right grip. I can go between road, dynamic pro, enduro pro, and these are modes that I've selected. Okay, yep. <clears throat> These are modes that I've selected in the TFT and I'll show you where that's at. Rain mode, go back to road mode. Okay, so essentially I've done that by pressing up on the menu button or the mode button on the handlebar here. You can't see that because I'm zoomed in. One other thing on the handlebar, on the right grip, we have the heated seats and heated grips. So if I press a button here, boom. Now I toggle over to the right heated handlebars. I can choose how you know hot I want these. Okay, go back, seat, same thing. I can choose how hot. I will tell you these things get super hot. Okay, to the point where I'm riding at 50 degrees, I'm like, yeah, I don't really need that. So we've covered the top line menu up, the road dynamo, or dynamo, dynamic, enduro pro, all the road, all the modes here, which we can switch, and also the heated seats and heated grips. All right, so now I'm gonna press down on the, sort of there's a button here that looks like a little shock. I'm gonna press down on that. And you've got road, I can switch to dynamic. These are other features, okay, that I can adjust. I'm gonna press down on the menu button. You can do all this while you're riding, by the way, which, which makes this amazing. Down on the menu button. Now we're into my vehicle, okay? Press down again. Okay, here we go. We got some, some stats here. We can go to the right, you see their arrow over here. Toggle to the right. Onboard computer, journey, brake, current, total, range, speed, consumption. I can press down again here. I can reset all values. Let's do that. Let's just toggle to the right, reset all values, okay? Back up. Trip computer. That's when I was talking about that break of 3,000 hours, whatever. Let's just toggle down. Reset all values. That's what I want to do. There we go. All right. So I reset all those values. Okay, the next thing we're talking to right, we got tire pressure and such, uh, 30, 30, specs 36.8, 42.6, then we have actuals which are not displayed. Service requirements, I'm due in a year and some change, um, 6,000 miles, I'll definitely hit that. 
So we came back up. Now we're gonna go over to navigation. Now this navigation, if you press down, this is the, so I did that on purpose, action on fossil start to be in WF. So I believe this is the TFT version of navigation where if you pair your phone, it will display turn by turn directions. It will not display obviously with the Nav6 will, but it will give you turn by turn. Same for media, I'm gonna to toggle down here. It'll tell me not possible connect device helmet, which I do have a cardo system connected to. I'm not a huge listen to music guy when I'm riding. Telephone, same thing. Let's go into settings, there's some good stuff in here. So if we press it down on the menu button in settings, you see we got vehicle settings, system connections, or system settings, connections, display information, reset all. We're gonna go ahead and go over to the right on vehicle settings. We've got our alarm system, which I recently had installed, the DWA, it was about 600 and some change. Totally worth it, totally integrated, amazing. Tilt sensor army mode, um, arm automatically, I don't want that. Okay, so we can go down here. Uh, I wanna talk about the riding mode pre-selection, which I went over a little earlier. So you can select up to four of these. Eco, nobody wants that. I'm not trying to be economically friendly when I'm riding a motorcycle. Rain, road, dynamic. So these are the four that came with it. Stock, eco, rain, road, and dynamic. And then of course we can do dynamic pro and we can actually configure these. Enduro, Enduro Pro. So I'll just show you what that looks like. If we go into dynamic pro configuration, now we can talk about, you know, how do I want my, my engine, my throttle response. You can set all this stuff. This is fantastic. Trash control, we can set this. ABS, we can set this. You know, rear wheel lift off deactivated so we can lock the, you know, we can do heavy front braking and lift the rear wheel, all that good stuff, uh, and reset. You know, obviously that's an option. So we're out of our vehicle settings. Now we're in the system setting. Let's go over to the right here. You know, typical date, time, units. If you want your units to be in, say, I don't know, probably kilometers. Yeah, we, nobody wants that. Well, if you're in England, you want that. PSI and pressure, probably bar over here. Yep, bar. Uh, I lived in Germany for five years. So, and then temperature and Fahrenheit. We want English 100%. Uh, let's go into connections. Okay, so there's that. Brighter helmet, passenger helmet. Um, display, brightness 60%. Let's just turn that up a little bit. 80%, okay. Might help when we're riding. And of course, information, licenses, software, version, reset all, no, no, no. All right. So that's pretty much it for that. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it with the sort of quick start guide on the TFT. It's really user friendly. You know, those of us who have been riding motorcycles a long time understand what all these things mean. And really just by using the, the, the um, I guess the buttons on the controls and also the toggle switch, you can get to just pretty much anything you need here. And it's fantastic. So I really like the, the way this is integrated. I really like the information that it gives me. Coming from other motorcycles that had a speedometer and a tachometer, this is fantastic, and this is something that you're paying for um, when you buy a motorcycle like this. So, so I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Just a quick one. Uh, if you're interested in a motorcycle like this, I I encourage you to go to a dealer, let them run you through this, and uh, you know, hope you get on one. All right, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.